and oh me oh my, already through work, no problems whatsoever. Dump your file and you fi will find out. I thought you couldn't do that on uh, online in order to prevent you from being able to cheese the system. But definitely could be wrong. I'm not very uh, experienced or familiar with the way that the web server games play or are uh, organized in that regard. But... Hmm. Yeah, because can you actually, can you even get the morgue for your character? That is usually what the dump does, correct? I'll have to learn how to do that, maybe at the end of the run, again, to uh, allow other people to play on this ridiculousness that we've managed to uh, experience here. There is one wee bit of floor still left to explore here in Orc, so let's head up this way. And we're back up to max PD, of course, and wow, two more weapon shops on top of that. Don't mind if I do game. I'm worried that there are going to be more incredible things for us to, to buy here, and we'll never be able to uh, get enough money for all the things that we so desire. But make my little cubby hole, and come one, come all, and experience the, uh, the glories that we are here. Perfect. Shift 3 tested it, no seed. Perfect, okay, good to know. It does make sense though, because otherwise you could just uh, play through the seed on a different character and cheat your way to all of the, uh, the official, like, greater player, great player, greater player banners and stuff like that, so. It will have to wait until we win, of course, because we're not gonna die or anything silly like that. Oh my gosh. So whether we went with uh, staves or with pole arms, we could potentially have pretty sweet artifacts out of those. We may have to shift gears at some point later game when we have experience to spare. And in fact, even before then, let's stop training long blades for a bit. I wanted to start training some dodging, maybe turn off armor. That's actually at a really nice spot now. And, hmm, evocations, how am I doing? Not grand. Still haven't quite gotten to uh, my favorite rechargeables yet. Specifically Condenser Vein, of course. Absolutely incredible. Hmm. So, I might go with Throwing to start off here. And we'll actually set a limit this time so that I don't overtrain too much. In fact, I should do the same with Dodging here. Just bring that up to 10. And... I guess we could do Evocations at the same time. There's almost no harm in it. I will almost definitely end up using quite a few evocations as we uh, make our way through the dungeon. So that's almost always a solid investment for a melee character here. Nice, going pretty solidly. Where shall we go next? We could head down into Elf here. With Trog's hand, we have willpower to spare. And we do have the resistance to electricity that we normally want for going down there. Also could then just hopefully grab a nice chunk of change. We still didn't get any resistance to poison stuff, hey? I guess that's probably fine in the long run. Can probably figure it out. It wouldn't be the first time that we had to go through S branches without any resistance to poison. It is slightly scarier, of course, when you're not able to teleport whatsoever, but it is what it is. Just didn't realize they got a message here. Oh, that was when I dumped it. That's good to know. In fact, if I open this up. Okay, so that's in the future. That's how I'll get this. Perfect. I'm gonna leave that open in another tab so that once we, uh, again, once we win the run, because there's no way we die or anything like that, once we win the run, I'll uh, do a quick post of the seed on screen here. Here we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Apparently I'm doing it on screen. There's my dump. Hit enter and it immediately hit the uh, the chat box here. Let's just minimize that, shall we? Before I do any more stupid mistakes. Perfect. 
Fortunately, that's not actually a big deal whatsoever. I did have a, uh, a dream last night where I doxed myself on screen on stream. So let's try not to do that if possible. That'd be nice. I sure hope it was a dream at least. For all I know, it happened in real life and I just wasn't paying attention. But fortunately, we do have some lovely people in chat here that I, I would hope would let me know if I did something so horribly stupid. And I hope I don't, because I really never want to uh, have to get rid of any of our VODs here. We have fun on these uh, these runs, and would love to show it off. Okay, I queued a bunch of actions there by accident, thanks to uh, just a little bit of server lag. Always good stuff. But pretty solid, or pretty happy with our choice to uh, drop into Elf here. So far it's going alright. In fact, I should probably carve myself a little cubbyhole here. Again, let these mages come to us so that we're not chasing them down and getting shot from far the whole time. Could switch over to our sling, but it's slowly but surely starting to uh, lose efficacy. So we face stronger things without training it whatsoever. Plus, I guess just in general, because slings do fall off at a certain point of the game. Matter unless you can uh, tag them along with ridiculous amounts of resist or slain bonuses. That's what I was going for there. Please don't do that, sir. They shouldn't do it here, right? Because they'll hit themselves. Don't think they'll do it. Perfect. So Formicids officially counter Zephyr Mancer. Good to know. In general, it's just so good being able to dig your own corridors. As long as that's an option that's available to you, super strong. I also haven't really been paying attention to most of these weapons here. I should, because who knows when a uh, Distortion Brand 1 will pop out of the blue. It's always a wee bit of a scare, for sure. We wouldn't do necessarily horrible in the Abyss. We could at least switch over to our Holy Branded Sword. A bit tougher than a lot of characters would be at this level. Hello, Demonologist. This is a perfect place to uh, pull you. Love to see it. And same with our Orc Priest here. Hello, friend. Please, come on, come all. Just line up nicely and we'll take you out one by one. Love to see it. Zephyr Mancers, I don't mind too much. Approaching as long as we have our resistance to electricity. But I also should make sure that we don't get too cocky here. Hubris is the made most common downfall of any Berserker character, and on top of that, as we all know, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So let's keep that in mind as we continue on here. Shapeshifter? I thought so. Not too shabby. How are we doing for money now? Holy crap. Oh wait, no, that's total cost. I always do that. Look at total cost and think that's the amount of money I have on me, but no, still short by quite a bit. Still need a few hundred here before we can buy that... Uh, I was going to say sweet, and then my mind immediately wanted to say schwanky armor. Turns out just stumbled over and said neither. That's always great. Great job, Mouthy, really cooperating. I guess mouth and tongue, I shouldn't put all the blame on one. They both do all the work for communication. Ooh, hello friends. Let's call attention of all these bad boys and then immediately dig our shaft. Love to see it. And just rinse and repeat, this is our life now essentially. Definitely does a pretty sweet job in countering most of the, the ranged buddies that we find down here. In fact, confusion isn't even that bad. Ooh, normally it's not. I did accidentally step out like a complete fool. How many curing potions do I have? Ah, that's worth it. Get me back into my, my safe cubby hole, please and thank you. And yes, if everyone could just make their way on over here, excuse me, pardon me. 
Perfect. Again, just creating an absolutely ridiculous pile of stuff. But works out very nicely. We're not going to get any damnation tossed at us. Zephyrmancers also are limited because they don't want to kill themselves. I don't know why. I mean, like, wizards in this game kill themselves all the time. Which actually, now that I think about it, so most creatures in this game do a pretty good job of not having completely suicidal behavior. The exception, of course, being, as I just mentioned, wizards sometimes kill themselves. As I learned on my troll run, where I was actively trying to get banished by a wizard, and they were having none of it. But I'm curious if it's because, can wizards see invisible? Because if they can't, they turn themselves invisible, and then they fireball themselves by accident. So I'm curious if because they can't technically see themselves, it doesn't perform the usual check where it would prevent them from uh, shooting there. That would be an interesting mechanic for sure. An interesting uh, interaction between those things. Also just absolutely surrounded by elementals, but no problems whatsoever. Super tanky here as we just absolutely take it. Oh, is it Cooper's autobiography? Hold up. I know I'm not supposed to learn spells, but always wanted to know. Let's read his autobiography, shall we? I should actually just turn on picking up spell books on that off, off chance that I abandon Trog, even though I'm being honest, it's just not happening. In fact, I've played this game a decent amount over the years, and I don't know if I've ever abandoned a god now that I think about it. It's not even that hard depending on who you follow and so many gods totally allow it. Like all the good gods, as long as you don't go to an evil one, they don't even care whatsoever. But for whatever reason, I've just never bothered. Interesting. I'm gonna have to try that at some point, try and learn the ropes, especially with how much I enjoy taking faded altars. But there's something in me that just likes to to commit, you know? When you're in a, a relationship with the deity, sometimes you just gotta commit. Not very uh, polytheist, polytheist in my uh, my personal life. Is that what that would be? That is definitely what the uh, achievement is for winning with every god in the game, but not used quite as often in the same way as something like polyamorous which just is a much more common phrasing that uses that con uh not connotation but that uh conjugation interesting hello friends um if you don't mind i'd like to oh wait do one more perfect come one come all Ooh. That's a little bit scarier than usual. That's good to know. Blade Masters still can uh, at least dent us here. I should probably, actually now that I think about it, I should have Trog's hand, right? I'm probably very fortunate that I haven't been banished already at this stage. But even just for the regeneration, that's really nice. But here, let's confirm that, shall we? I go over this bad boy. Yeah, you do actually have the chance to banish us. What's our natural will? Oh, we're naturally at three pips of willpower. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> All good in that regard. Don't need Trog's hand, at least for that. Though, of course, like I just mentioned, the uh, the regeneration on its own does help us survive these ridiculous extended tunnel fights. Okay, another Blade Master. Hello, friend. Hopefully, they don't hurt us nearly as badly as their brethren did. Doesn't seem like it. Much smoother. Holy crap. We just failed a 1% chance. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Okay, well, welcome to Abyss 3. Never mind. Uh, goodbye, Abyss 3. What are you doing to me, game? You're pulling at my heartstrings. I want to confirm that. Oh, no, it's up to 35%. That was with Trog's hand that we were at 1%. Okay. That's better, actually. As long as I can remember to uh, to keep Trog's hand on, we should be A-OK. -okay. Not at all punished for that one mistake, which you love to see. No complaints from me, at the very least. Holy moly. Onwards we go. 
Hello, friend. Ooh, another blade master. Let's go off into the corner so that buddies can't do anything. Ooh, and see, that's where it's tough. It's because of how evasive those uh, sword masters are. I'm gonna put on Trog's hand again, just for the regeneration this time around. Oof. That is rough. How much damage do you do, friend? Absolutely brutal. I wish we had um, some kind of reflection ego. Would be nice. 25 damage plus your longbow. Hey, with 30% chance to hit us and a decent chance to dodge us too, I guess is the main issue. Well. Hmm. Mind burst can't miss. What are our odds? 25% chance of affecting though. Not great. We could go for one dig potentially, but I think we move slightly slower through the walls than we do in open space. So that's risking a bad energy roll. I want to check this one more time. They had a 30% chance to hit. Hmm. So we should ideally be able to drink a healing potion, regenerate some of our health back. We're looking pretty close to a one hit here, but not quite. So I think I can slash once. Oh, please, put that bow away. <laughs> Every second turn, the elf buddy puts their bow away and I get excited. <laughs> there we go, though. Ooh, scary stuff. Apparently, we're able to take on all of the ridiculous mages and whatnot that we find down here, but the second it's a master archer, it's brutal. And we've been very lucky not to face too many elementalists, too. Because that is another one that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Let's take you upstairs, shall we? What do you have in hand? You have distortion on you. You have two distortion blades on you. Fancy. Why does your mom let you have two distortion blades? Um, odds of hitting you with Curari, 35%, please. Okay, I got him. Wait, how fast are you that you can still keep up with me? You son of a gun. I thought that the slow off of that would do some work, and now I'm embarrassed because I should have stayed out in that area in order to uh, use our Ice Blast. Don't banish me, sir. Don't banish me. Don't you do it. Here we go. Ice Blast is undodgeable. Actually, let's check out some stuff, though. You do have a lot of health, I guess. Might just have to tank this one. If we get banished, it's not the end of the world. In fact, we might be able to survive long enough to get the rune down there. I think I'm going to try out this fight a little bit. We can also call in a friend. In fact, let's do so. I'd like to call a friend, please. And perfect. Not too bad. Throwing hit our skill target as well. You'd love to see it. I think I'll even... Oh, I was going to head to a different stairway, but I should just go here. And then dig in, oh, whoops, like this. Oh, we found the edge of the level, fun stuff. Dig in like this. There we go, finally. After a few tries there, we got to the point that I wanted to in regards to uh, narrowing our vision from enemies. Those earth elementalists are a pain in the butt. In fact, they ruined my little cubby hole down here, didn't they? Hello, friend, if you could please come this way, that would be grand. Perfect. It's got to be getting close. Oh, I guess we're going a different way now, though. We're not, in fact, going to be clearing out the rest of that vault, even though we did do most of the work already. But we can make ourselves a little hole. Hello? Hello, people? Hmm. Another archer there. Not a master archer, at least. And not too bad. Not bad whatsoever. Electrocution, no problem. And onwards we go. Decent amount of potions of mutation this game, for sure. 
Thank you, Orb Spider, for switching off. That I was stupidly trying to chase down an Orb Spider when I probably should have just switched over to my sling. Though at least staying close to it does prevent the amount of damage that an Orb of Destruction would do if it launched one out. Hello, friend. If you'd like to come this way, please and thank you. Would very much appreciate that. Wand of Paralysis, I do kind of want. So let's go back into our inventory. And what do I even bother dropping? Do you want know sort of venom? Not going to be necessary. Hmm, we do have throwing up now, so I do potentially want to be using that. We can get rid of our Detura darts. Probably won't be using those too much effect for the rest of the game here. Dang it. Use my mute key and that put us out of our drop menu. That's fine. What else? One ring of positive energy can go on the ground here. We could drop our noise scrolls. I'm kind of carrying them around for stupid reasons. But, nah, screw it. We can drop our degeneration for now. Keep the noise for the off chance that we can do something silly with it. And another master, hey? What are the odds that I paralyze you? 9%, that's not great. Hey, sir, scary, don't like that. Um, I'm gonna Trog's hand just for the regeneration here, try and get some health back before he approaches. Also gonna call in an ally this time around to speed up the fight so we don't end up in one hit range this time around. Perfect. I kind of would have liked it if you charged them troll friend but that's cool that's cool teach their own i'm not going to force you to do something i wouldn't do ouch absolutely brutal oh you had a fa fancy sword did you plus 10 long sword huh quite the sword on that son of a gun but i will actually take a short detour here we are gonna go up the stairs up the stairs because we're finally rich enough to buy that ridiculous plate armor. So I'm gonna pop through here. Do -do -do. Head over to Ye Old Armor Shop. Yeah, plus 11 plate armor with regen, slay plus five. Absolutely absurd. That immediately is grabbed. We lose one AC for, in exchange I should say, for an incredible amount of bonuses. In fact, thank you so much for the ornamental life that you've given me, plate armor, but you're trash now. I found a new love in the, what was it, plate armor of the turtle? Armor of the turtle, very cool. Let's go finish the job here, shall we? Oh, hello, friend. Under our odds of hitting are probably much better now with that plus five slain, hey? Just a 30% chance to evade me? Essentially a zero in my books. And you're dead. But let's keep her moving. Okay, still a few bad boys down in that treasure vault. Another annihilator. Fun stuff. This is only going to be a pain if the annihilator steps on that trap so i'm actually going to take a step back to avoid that because it looks like they might have and hmm and a brother in arms bring in a friend i could actually potentially die here right with an lcs now that i think about it so i will take a heal wounds potion as much as i want to risk it all and I'm also going to Trog's hand for some extra regen as I try and use the Cyclops to uh, my advantage here. Which I immediately regret, so instead I'm going to heal up. Scarier than I thought there, but ain't no thing. We're still at full PD pip, so I guess we could afford to call in more Brothers in Arms. The thing is, we're killing a lot of spellcasters here, which... Ooh, with a plus 8 Arc Blade... Sorry, killing a lot of spellcasters here, which Trog very much enjoys, but that is pretty cool. I ain't never seen an arc blade before. Let's Trog's hand so that we don't get banished. Let's bring in a friend so that we uh, quickly slice our way through here. I want to 
want to pick this up even if just to see what the heck it does. Blade somehow crafted from pure electricity, it arcs wildly between the wielder and their foes as it strikes. Hmm, and it's a short blade, huh? That's wild. I wish I would want to use this, but unfortunately, not exactly going to do us much good on this run. Let's take our stone giant out this aways. Oh my gosh, condenser vein. Yes, please. Sounds like static discharge on hit. Yeah, that definitely would make sense to me too. Or I'd agree with that. But there we go. Through all of Elf, not too bad. Probably don't care much for this ring of decks, so let's ignore that. And is there anything here that I want? Most likely not. There is a two-handed sword here. Plus three, great sword of venom. Meh. Plus three, scimitar, anti-magic, but we'll be getting tons of anti-magic things from ye old trog, of course. So I guess that's... Oh, there's more treasure down this way. Okay. Very cool. Scroll of summoning, mind burst, paralysis. Very naya. Uh, let's use an ID scroll on this right away. Well, it's our first scroll of fear that we found. Fascinating. Well, hmm. We have 125 sling bullets and we started train throwing. So I think I'm going to stop picking up stones. Holy crap, we also got resistance to poison. Yes. And another willpower and RF. Absolutely incredible. I'll probably replace uh, Mokua's for now keep the stats and our corrosion yeah because there are the uh the corrosion frogs goliath frogs in swamp now so that might be nice you can drop resist corrosion though i actually don't need that whatsoever now that i think about it for even a moment here and what else what else that should be good for now holy cow don't need fancy darts because we'll almost have no chance of being able to use those to any effect on most of the monsters we run into now. And we are sitting pretty, for sure. Holy cow. Let's go get some runes, shall we? We can go to Swamp or Spider Nest. I guess Spider might be slightly easier for Farmstead in a sense, if just because we have walls to dig into. It's almost like an ice elementalist's issue with Swamp, where you just don't have much opportunity to use the walls around you. But, on the other side of things here, now that we're slightly higher up in Lair, I do want to also drop our uh, Identify Scrolls here. Don't need all of those at every moment now. And same with Potions of Mutation we can drop for the time being. Very cool. Last but not least, let's actually put on the ring so that I don't just walk around like a fool without it. That on our right... It's not necessarily hand. I guess appendage is a nice general way to put it. What is a an ant's appendage called? It's the real question of the hour. Some say scientists are still looking for that answer to this day. Maybe we'll never know. Okay, six-headed Hydra, hello friend. This is somewhere where it's nice that we didn't end up going with a more uh, axe-like approach, just because the cleave here would be a bit of a, a pain in the butt. But I will still take a bunch of you upstairs with me. Oh, unless I get harpooned, but never doubt in my mind. Okay. Jeez, Bunyip, you hit like a freaking truck. Oh, and the Spriggan is also hitting us, of course. Right, right. Let's use an acid charge. Ideally take out that Spriggan, or at least get close. That's not too bad. Then we can switch to our hunting sling, our usual Hydra Slayer here. Even before we had evocables to spare. Not too shabby. Absolutely destroy that Spriggan. Oh my gosh. Could you stop harpooning us, please, sir? Don't appreciate it. First of all, and it's not like it's even working out for you that well. 
effect. Okay, let's slow down here. I'm hitting tab really quickly. What do these buddies even do? <laughs> Get wrecked. Palaces ain't a thing to us. Your trick is control F and period to see everything on the floor. I definitely should have done that, yeah, on Elf. I usually just do it on Orc 2, Elf 3, some of those bigger floors where a lot of the times monsters will pick up stuff from loot vaults. So I definitely totally forgot to do that this time around. Definitely a great trick, and thank you for mentioning it, since I totally forgot to. I just got too excited, you know, seeing us get the ring that is exactly what I was looking for down there. And yes, yeah, so easy to miss something, definitely. I'm constantly not noticing what enemies are wearing on them, specifically. If it's on the floor in the loot room, sure, that's one thing, but... They're being a little uh, sneaky about it, and one of those uh, elves just put on like four different fancy rings. Hello, Francis. How are you doing? What do you even do? Damage, demons. I can dig it. Um, I don't think I can dig through trees, right? Well, that's fine. Let's bring in a friend here. Uh, can oh my gosh is our deep troll gonna... <laughs> that's embarrassing francis i thought you were one of the tough uniques what are you doing putting old pan to shame to say the very least as our troll immediately steps on a teleport trap so i guess they're not the brightest bulb in the, the batch either which makes it even more embarrassing that francis was able to be taken out by them so easily who's gonna tell the pan lords there we go. Not too bad, all things considered. Even without our ability to escape through the walls like we normally would. And definitely still uh, eke some advantages out here. And awesome to go up the stairs to where the uh, Elenoma holds no power and isn't able to do their annoying heal routine. I might change stairways just so that we can re-engage on maybe slightly less uh, entrenched enemies here. It's been too long since I played a fighter like this though. I'm getting way too overconfident in our uh, our defensive capabilities here and at some point we're gonna start to hit a wall again. Let's see, wall flame here might be nice if just to uh, put up a cloud or two. Perfect. And we'll follow that up with an acid charge. I should have checked the chances of that hitting our ghost crab friend, but should be fine. In fact, there it is indeed totally okay. Not too bad. This is our kind of swamp for the most part. Oh, what the heck? Plus eight great sword of conformity. Vorpal resist electricity resist corrosion. Okay. Holy crap. Thanks, Trog. That's the first useful weapon I've pretty much ever gotten from you. That is incredible. Don't know if we'll use it. I probably should, right? Plus eight. We'd have ridiculous slain bonuses. Let's go upstairs. Think this through. Currently using a plus three greatsword. Could go up by plus five. Switch from freezing to vorpal. So vorpal is slightly less damage overall, but slightly more consistent depending on elemental resistances. Our leck we already have from our necklace, our corrosion we already have from a ring. But if we go to our jewelry, do we want to change any of those out? Not really, but I still might use the sword. If just for that slain bonus, and Vorpal is kind of nice for sure. Let's do it. Can I at least test it out here, see how we feel? I guess especially in this area, all the Spriggans have decently high evasion. And so the slain bonus might pay dividends there. And look, we even fight off against a cold based enemy, which means we're immediately eking out some advantage. Hello, friends. Trying to look for where the near stairs is. I sh definitely shouldn't have waited out in the open. That was probably a stupid idea, but. Now we can start heading back, try and get this harpoon worm to not pull us off the stairs. In fact, Let's just go up, shall we? No need to risk it here. Let's just head back to this stairway instead. Now that we've probably drawn all the, the monsters off of it with that latest uh, alarm trap shenanigan. 
Not too bad whatsoever. Hello, tyrant. Another tyrant. Just deposing tyrant leeches left and right here. Love to see it. I'm kind of used to playing troll, so I'm standing in shallow water for our attacks, which isn't necessarily great. It's not horrible if we're this far ahead of the curve, but definitely could be punished much worse for that if we were unfortunate. Okay, what are our odds of missing you? You have a 37% chance to evade, so you have a 63% chance to hit. So it should be pretty good. Perfect. Don't want them summoning in too many berserk enemies. That's my move, not yours. Stop trying to steal my look, spriggin' berserkers. Not too bad. Hmm. I'm actually going to go into our auto pickup here real quick and fix up some stuff. We don't need any more rings of positive energy. No rings of magic, no rings of fire. We do not want... What was I just thinking about? Scrolls have identified, not for now. And... Right, I got it. I just had to keep scrolling until I saw it. Stones, I no longer want. And darts, I no longer really want. Perfect. Not too bad whatsoever. Even getting completely flooded on the stairways hasn't been too much of a problem for this character. Definitely no complaints. Even more sling bullets, of course, is nice. I haven't really been using my sling as much recently here. Probably should be using it. And in fact, oh, <laughs> whoops. Let's go into my inventory, switch this sword to be A so that I don't accidentally put on the wrong sword again here. And I wouldn't mind if you harpooned me too, you actually. That would have saved me some effort here. Effort and time. Ooh, and there we go. This is why it's nice to have our plus seven sling. Even with no training, we're likely to hit that bad boy. And maybe even take out a berserker. Holy cow. It's actually quite effective, even with no training. I guess as long as it's not a high AC enemy. That's specifically where you start to have issues with slings, is when you're dealing with really high armor class. Can I actually wait? I'm not getting harpooned at all. Does that that doesn't count as a translocation of any kind, right? Stasis shouldn't prevent that. Am I legitimately just getting lucky? Hmm. I don't know how all of the explicit details of that uh, ability work, that enemy ability. Okie dokie. Already a full inventory. I could probably just drop this. I think I am pretty happy with our new sword here. So, drop that, drop the poison darts. I guess I can go to drop menu so that I'm actually doing a bit more work here. Hmm. You know what, I should just drop the scrolled noise. They are just taking up room. Back in the day, they might have been nice. Back when they interrupted mesmerize and stuff like that. As for now, they're not that much better than just shouting at the top of your character's lungs. Okay. It's because I just have too good of an AC. Okay, there we go. We finally got hit by a harpoon. Confirmed. I was pretty sure it didn't make sense that Stasis would have any role in that. And indeed, it does not. You just have a crazy amount of shielding for this stage in the game, considering the fact that you normally don't have a tower shield online until far, far later. And holy crap. What do I want to train? Probably throwing a bit higher here. Want it down to its min delay for all weapons, as well as getting the little bit of extra damage eked out of that. Can't complain. We could put fighting back on for more health. Maybe evocations can come up a little bit more too. I'll bring that up to 16. And you know what? I actually will put on fighting for a little while here and get some more total health going. Why the heck not? And there we are. Just about through with Swamp already. Love to see it. Again, I should have switched to my sling. 
Silly me. And hello, Donald. Are you going to be a, a bigger challenge than Francis was? I don't think you are. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess that, that's cool. Ooh, okay, definitely killed the shaman as soon as possible, and we indeed do so. Just absolutely smashing it to bits in one hit. Not bad. Have innate, or not innate rather, but we just do have corrosion resistance on us at all times. So, Goliath Frog. Ain't no thing. Look, ooh, it's a, a vault dedicated to our one and only. What are you? I don't know what you are. Hmm. This is a frightening vault, though. I'm not going to pop in here anytime soon. It's a pretty powerful ghost. Okay. And it's mostly because of the Moths of Wrath and how many Spriggans are in there. Sounds like a bit of a nightmare. I guess wouldn't be horrible necessarily as long as we have the ability to call in some allies. Maybe even use like a summoning scroll or something to take up squares around us. Lighten the load of how many of those buddies are wailing away each and every turn well berserked. But not in a rush to go down there either. We have a pretty solid selection of uh, of rings already. Hello, Thorn Hunter. Please come to me. Thank you. And where the heck is the actual rune vault here, hey? What are we going to be dealing with? Not super familiar with all the changes that were made to Swamp even a couple versions ago. Oof, and the lack of cold resistance is starting to show there, so let's bring in a friend. I guess we could have just also killed the bog body immediately, that works too. What else, what else? Ring of willpower... probably unnecessary. Come get me please, thank you. So I will actually just immediately come into our inventory and let's drop that. We have four just at all times now. Oh no, we're down to two. Where did I... I have three pips when I had Trox Hand. For whatever reason, that one moment in Elf where I got confused as to how many willpower pips I had has just absolutely fried my brain in that regard. And I have no idea what the, the truths of the world are anymore. But Hydra, take out quickly with our sling, of course. Not too bad. We could even use that sling to take on the, uh, whatchamacallits, bog bodies, because it is a sling of flaming, so it does deal extra damage to them, which is nice. Actually, let's go back to using this, shall we? we? Might as well try and soften up our enemies. Oh, I should also stop firing with tab there because any shots that missed that bog body were going directly into the deep water which kind of sucks hello friends a few hydras so six heads seven heads four heads okay no stone walls we can dig through but all these monsters are kind of stupid so we should be able to delete them here perfect switch over to our sling and in fact let's actually use some acid charges to just blast through these bad boys oh and not just acid but we could actually use our lightning rod so that we're not wasting charges also making a lot of noise of course oops this one please sir hmm i think i thought we would make enough noise to call attention to ourselves but apparently nobody else is coming out of their little cubby holes that's cool i guess that's all good No rune here. Makes sense. Oh crap, I'm in a worse position too. I should have taken a step forward instead of switching over to my sling, but I think we'll be okay. As I queue up like five commands and the leg takes over. There's even an eight-headed hydra. Maybe I should have been paying slightly more attention, eh? But, going okay here. There is no escape for me, which I guess is another thing that I should be a little bit more aware of here. Hello, friends. And back to Hydra fighting. 
Perfect, and her evocable lightning rod already recharged just off of that fight. Absolutely incredible. Ooh, plus two pair of gloves versus my plus one pair of gloves with dex. I think I keep my current ones. Yeah, it's hard to see my character's gloves on the sprite there. My shield and weapons are too big in general. So not going to be basing too much of our build there on the fashion side of things because it seems to not be affected here. And okay, sirs, I'd like you all to line up, please. You know, I feel like I'm I'm saying it and you're just not listening. I'd like you to line up. I guess this isn't that bad. We'll do like, yeah, that's still hitting two of them at least. Now we're back to not being able to do so, I think. There we go. Line up two hydras at once. Thank you kindly. And why not? Let's call a brother in arms in, see who we get. Just unfair game. Absolutely unfair to these poor swamp denizens. Do, do, do. Guess troll claws are long enough to chop heads off these hydras. Is that something I have to be aware of here? Probably is, but should also be fine. I do think that that's a far enough. Um, ahead in terms of power range, spawn, or summon, that even if it does start chopping off Hydra heads, we'll still win this fight. Absolutely brutal, troll. It's not even fair. Okay, well thank you so much, Trog. Definitely made that a uh, simple calculus, all things considered. And let's just have our way through the rest of this floor, I think. Perfect. Not too shabby whatsoever. We definitely do want to be steamrolling as much as we can here, because our lack of stasis will come back to bite us in the butt at some stage in our future. Let's use the proper search functions this time around, make sure that we didn't miss anything. Kite Shield of Reflection oh, is kind of tempting fact let's go there because does reflection give a bonus to uh shielding in general let's see we go from 22 shield to 16 so we do go down a bit but the reflection brand is awesome for sure maybe i'll try it out for a little bit and in fact does it work at all in Spider for us? So I guess that's where it's about to become relevant. Can we reflect orbs of destruction? Potentially. It does count as a projectile, I believe. Hmm. 